Casey Neistat, greatest vlogger of all time, said this. Always use the very best camera you have at your disposal. So that's why in this video, I'll be breaking down how to vlog and regardless of what camera you have, whether you're using your smartphone like I am right now or a fancy camera like this, but we're gonna be breaking it down in this video. And so by the end of this video, you'll be able to crush your vlogs. Let's go. You gotta just press record. Hey, what's going on? It's Omar's Corey with Think Media and this channel is all about helping you build your influence with online video and YouTube. And so if you're interested in that, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Oftentimes we do tech gear reviews for the best tools that'll help you build your influence. But also we talk about tips. And the first tip is to plan out your vlog. And most importantly, I believe is that you need to outline your vlog. You need to know what you're actually going to be saying or even going to be showing in your vlog. I think what's so funny is that vlogging has almost given people the license or creators the license to think that they can just create random videos and cross their fingers and hope that they go viral. But the reality is that's not a strategy, just making random videos. And I would argue the reason why you clicked on this video is because it wasn't random. It's because it pertained to what you were looking for. And so I want you to start looking at vlogs more as a content format. This is just the way that I'm gonna communicate information on video in vlog form. And in that, you will actually see success and more views increase on your vlogs. But it all starts with planning. <laughs> all right, three. this dog's barking at me, bro. This dog's barking at me, bro. Another reason why I would really encourage you to outline your videos is because it'll actually speed up your edit. Now that your video isn't so random and it's shot with intention, your editing process will probably be a little bit more smoother and quicker just because you planned in advance before you started shooting. And so just to give you insight, I'm not saying all this stuff just randomly off the top of my head. I've actually scripted out this video that I'm shooting right now. And so your boy practices what he preached. But number two, number two, set up your shots. Let's talk about it. Now, one of my favorite things about vlogging is the ability to switch up your shots as much as you'd like to. And you know, you can do stationary shots like this. If you wanted to actually start vlogging and walking around, you can do so because when I'm in my studio and I got my fancy light all set up and I got my mic all boomed out, I can't really switch up the shot. And what's so cool about switching up your shot is it actually increases your audience retention because you're switching it up and keeping it more interesting. And so I do think it's key that you think about your shots and that you're not always moving in all your shots. And if you are moving, that it's steady on the most part, but that it's okay to lock in your shot and just keep it on a tripod or put it on a table and just sit and talk to a camera. <laughs> Now, one cool thing you can do is what set up your shot you and do? have you, okay, Ruby's trying to talk like me. No, okay, my turn, Ruby, okay, okay, okay. But, you know, filming yourself do things actually makes your vlogs more interesting. It actually hacks the viewer's attention and makes you think that somebody's there filming your content. Yep, and there's Anna. But really, what makes it powerful is what you do with that footage in post or when you're editing. And I'll break down editing in just a second, but I do wanna show you a sequence of sequences that kinda of show you ways that you can actually implement kind of these cool moments where you can actually use them to either transition from one place to another place in your vlog. But I wanna show you some examples of these sequences and I'll be using Epidemic Sound underneath these examples, which is the sponsor of this video. And Epidemic Sounds offers great music and sound effects for your videos. And we, I actually have a special offer for you to get three free months from Epidemic Sound. But if you ever wonder what kind of music we use here at Think Media, most of the time it is actually Epidemic Sound. They have a great library of music and sound effects to choose from, and they're always adding to it. In this video, through the intro, and throughout the video, I've actually been using music from Epidemic Sound. Their website is so easy to use because they have search tools and playlists, and finding similar songs to a song you already like is really easy to do. And when it comes to sound effects, you can search for the perfect sound that you need. The best part is with the sound effects and the music, you could use them in your YouTube videos and still monetize and make money on YouTube. Now, if you wanna get your first three months for free, be sure to use our code THINKFRIDAY, or you can just use the link down in the description. Now this offer does end soon, so make sure to check out the description and get signed up today. Now continuing the conversation when it comes to setting up your shot in regards to gear, I just really want to encourage you to keep it simple. Like definitely get some sort of tripod or vlog stick because it allows you to either get more distance from yourself uh, or it allows you to just put it on a table and then you can just set it on a table and talk. And then the second thing is your mic. 
uh, you want good audio for your vlogs. Audio is actually 50% of the video viewing experience. And so you wanna make sure that your audio is good in your vlogs and you can actually be more distracting and people will wanna leave your videos. I've actually had to start over a couple of times because the birds would be chirping or, or there's an airplane flying by. Those sound effects that you just heard were from Epidemic Sound. And we'll be sure to link up everything down in the description below as far as our recommendations and also videos we've done on these things. But all that to say, the third thing that will level up your vlogs, hands down, is the editing. Now, when it comes to editing your vlog, I don't wanna lose you here. And we honestly have so many editing videos and tutorials here on this channel. We'll be sure to link it down in the description. But this would be a good time to pull out that script that you wrote out before you started your video because now it's gonna serve as a guideline. But really, the first thing I do when I start my editing uh, is that I start a folder, whether it's on my desktop or on an SSD, which is really just a fast external drive. But I create a folder with the date and the name of the video. I then drag all the footage that I got into that folder. Now I open up my video editing software. Then I just drag the footage onto the timeline and really just go through it and get it down to its core. I call this trimming out the fluff. That's why I think the most important tool that you need to learn how to use in video editing is the slice the cut or the splice tool. This is a, a tool that just cuts down your clip and then you can select and then delete your clip so that you're met with all that you need for your vlog to make sense. What's so important about video editing is learning something called pace and your video has a pace. There's a rhythm, there's a cadence to your video and you don't want it to be laborious, you know? So that's why I think trimming down the fluff, eliminating any mistakes you may have or something that doesn't really add to the storyline. If there's a humorous moment, cool. But more importantly, if it takes away from what you're trying to deliver, deliver on camera, then you probably shouldn't include it. Once you've trimmed down the fluff, then you can actually add those transitional moments that you plan for, or maybe even some music. Again, shout out to Epidemic Sound for sponsoring this video, but you can add music to your vlog to kind of give it a vibe and a feel. And one cool tip before you render or export your video is to show it to a friend or a spouse. Just show it to one other person and watch them watch your vlog. There's something about seeing somebody else watch your vlog, and what's gonna happen is your little nowhere in your knower is gonna tell you like, oh, that part was a little drowned out too much, or the volume of that music was just a little too loud, but this is a good tip that allows you to actually make your edit even better before you actually publish it. Now, if you do wanna go deeper in editing, you can click or tap the screen to check out a tutorial that we did. And if you wanna actually level up your smartphone setup for vlogging, you can click or tap the screen where I break down three different setups based off your price point. But thanks so much for joining me in this video. Like it if you haven't already, and I'll see you in a future video. Peace.